Welcome to Short View Trading. It's Monday, 8th of August. What matters today and this week for traders? Well, there are some growing question marks over this idea of the PAL pivot, not least given the hawkish comments we had from Daly and Bowman over the weekend, but also that much stronger than expected non-farm payroll number and the upward revision on Friday. And with that, some signs that liquidity in markets is beginning to tighten up. For example, if we look at the rates market, we brought forward the timing of Fed hikes somewhat for the December 22 meeting. Fed funds rising 18 bips on Friday. The yield curve inverted further, twos tens closing at minus 41 bips. And the US 10 year yield moving back up above its key technical level. On top of that, the dollar rallied on Friday, the dollar index up 0.9% on the session. And in the past week, you can just see the dollar's been making higher highs and higher lows. The scale on this chart is inverted. The dollar, of course, remains reasonably well inversely correlated with US equities. So both the rates market and the dollar are beginning to question the near-term uptrend in equities. So how much more upside is there in this equity market? Well, as you can see from this chart, we're currently at key levels with the S&P broadly trading in a range this past week of between 4070 and 4200, which is a congestion area from early June. Do we test the top of that range and maybe break above it? Or is this equity market about to roll over? Well, we answer all of that in our daily publication. In it, we make a one to two week trading recommendation, long or short, on US equity futures. It's available on the website to subscribers. We also offer a free trial. If you're interested, click on the link below, enter your name, email address, and we'll send you our daily trading publication free for the next seven trading days. So what gives us an edge as we make these calls on markets? Will it signals from our models, like this indicator you see on your screen now? This, is, this measures the steepness of the equity volatility curve. You can see it's back at very steep levels, highlighting complacency in markets and generating a sell signal for the S&P 500. So what signals are we getting from other short and medium term indicators? How are we trading this market? We'll have a look at our daily trading publication for detail on all of that. And what are we watching this week? Well, all eyes on the US inflation report for July out Wednesday, 1.30 London time. That will be key for market direction. Just ahead of that, we get the NFIB small business report tomorrow, which may provide some clues on the inflation reading. You can see the small business price plans index is usually a good leading indicator of the broad direction of core CPI. Then later this week, we have the University of Michigan sentiment reading. That's on Friday. Also on Friday, we get the first estimate for Q2 GDP in the UK. Elsewhere out of China, we get inflation on Wednesday. We've also got total social financing out this week. And then in terms of events, some speeches from the likes of Evans and Kashkari talking about inflation and the economy. Those will be watched closely. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn and or Facebook. Thanks for listening.